Hello and welcome everybody. We're looking at question 8 on the 2004 Pascal paper. So question 8, if 18% of 42 is equal to 27% of x, then the value of x is, okay, so 28, 63, 2, 864, and 12 are our options. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change these uh, percentages into actual numbers. I'm going to figure out what is 18% of 42. And the way we do that is uh, we, we use, we sort of, uh, I usually try and say it like this, percentages can sort of be seen as uh, a unit, like kilometers or degrees Celsius. And so what we want to do is turn percents, so blah percent of what's its, into a fraction, some fraction multiplied by what's its. That's what we're going to do. And we turn it into a fraction by dividing by 100%. All percentages are out of 100. So it's 18% out of 100% gives us our fraction. So let's set that up. Eighteen percent of forty-two. Well, that's just eighteen percent out of a hundred percent times by forty-two. Okay, and we know that this is equal to twenty-seven percent of x. So that's twenty-seven percent out of a hundred percent times x. So these guys have to be equal. They have to be equal. So let's set that equation up. Eighteen percent all over a hundred percent. 27% out of 100%. Now you could grab your calculators and simplify the left hand side, but I realize we both have, uh, both sides here have 100% on the bottom. Why not just multiply by 100% or, or just multiply by 100, let the percents cancel out, and then you'll be left with 18 times 42 is the same as 27 times x. Or since we've got it as fractions, we could multiply both sides by 100% over 27%. Oh, there's, there's just so many ways to do this question. Uh, I think I'm actually going to do the latter. So uh, we'll do 100% over 27% times 18% over 100% 42 equals, so whatever we do to one side, we got to do the other side. And we chose 100% over 27% in order to cancel out on the right hand side we'll just be left with x here we have these hundreds these percents have got to go and 18 over 27 um, so 18 is 2 times 9 and i know that 42 is uh, i think it's 3 times 14 all over 27 is 3 times 9 so i'm just writing this out so i don't have to grab my calculator cancel a bunch of this out and we should be left with 2 times 14 which is 28 and I think that was a but let's just double check was that a it was my memory serves me just fine so a 28 does this make sense uh, 18 percent of 42 so 18 percent is less than 27 percent just in general so we would expect uh, a bigger portion of a small number would be equal to a small portion of a big number. So we should expect x to be less than 42. So 28, 2, and 12, these are the numbers we would that are now our candidates, and 28 is certainly the best suited of those. Okay, Just an extra little sort of mental check that we can do if we got the time to spare. But uh, no matter what, we've got our answer 28. We can move on now to uh, question number 9. We're almost done part A of the contest, so I'm, I'm ready. I'm going to go right into question number nine, and hopefully you'll follow me there. See you in the next video.